This new 100% free AI image to video tool is better than both Kling AI and Minimax. Well, you see, Kling AI is becoming way too expensive and their free plan is as good as useless. And Minimax's free generations have watermarks. The tool I'm about to show you doesn't have watermarks and is completely uncensored. Yes, you heard that right. You can use bare images. It can also be used locally and online for free. And I'll show you how to get infinite free credits at the end for those who wish to use it online. Now we are going to test this tool to see if it's actually better than Kling and Minimax. So don't forget to like the video. Let's get started. Okay, so in order to access the new image to video tool, you need to open up TensorArt. The link should be in the description. Now, one thing I like about TensorArt is that it's not just for one tool. There are multiple tools, and if you're subscribed, you'll know that I use TensorArt a lot to generate AI influencers and other things. Over here, you can see they have a whole range of AI tools. If you look closer, there are tools for face swapping, design, clothing, and makeup. They've also got a wide variety of checkpoints in LoRa's. But back to the subject matter. There are actually two video models we're going to test out, each for different purposes and effects. The first of these models is image to video. So head over to the SpongeBob image and click on try. It should then bring you to this interface and all you need to do is import your image. So as you can see, I've imported this image here. There's even an option to inpaint, which allows you to change part of the image during the video. You can try it out if there are errors in the picture. We'll just reset and leave it as it is. Now here's the tricky part, prompting. Unlike other video generators, you can't just use vague phrases like slight movement and expect good results. You need to describe the action clearly. So I've got this fairly decent prompt, though it's still not ideal for this video generator. But let's see. When you sign up for TensorArt, they give you 50 free credits every day and you can earn more. This particular tool only consumes eight credits per video. If you want to learn how to get more credits, watch till the end. Now let's try it out and see the result. It's done processing, it takes about two to five minutes. Here's the result. We did get some motion, but not exactly what we wanted. This means our prompting should be better. We can download this and adjust the prompt for better results. Let me show you a better way to prompt. When you're back here, create a prompt that conveys the action properly. Using a chat model like ChatGPT is also helpful for this. Try whichever method works best for you. Once done, click on go and let's see how it performs. Now it's done and as you can see, it adhered to our prompt much better this time. But there are more techniques to explore to get varied results. For example, I've got this selfie style image here. It's tricky to work with, so be very descriptive in your prompt. When you're done, hit the generate button. The video is done, let's check it out. Overall, it looks good, though the resolution isn't the best. There's also some morphing at the end. Using an even more detailed prompt could help avoid these issues. For resolution, there are multiple tools available to upscale the output. What's great about this tool is that it works for uncensored images as well, unlike Kling and MinMax. If you ask me in terms of quality, it's not yet on par with top-notch video generators like Kling. However, this tool is a great option for those who can't afford those premium tools. Now, let's try the second video generation model for turning 2D images into 3D videos. Go back to the AI Tools section and click on the one labeled 3D with the Patrick image. As usual, you should be presented with this interface. Now simply upload your photo. I've got this picture of an anime painting. Let's see how it performs. I'll put links to all these templates in the description. The video is done, and it did a fair job considering the complexity of the scene. Let's try a different type of picture to fully test its capabilities. I've uploaded this image of a house in a 3D style. Let's see the result. It looks awesome and could work well for cinematic scenes. However, it's not perfect one section looks like it's floating. Now let's test it with AI-generated human influencers. This tool isn't designed for real people, so let's see how it handles this. The video of the girl is done. Let's take a look. It actually did a pretty decent job. While the quality isn't the best, it looks much better on a phone screen. Excluding the morphing at the end, I think this is great. If you enjoy creating AI art, such as cartoon-like characters, this tool is worth trying. They even have a real anime model that blends anime and real life. Let's give it a shot. Click on it and you'll see something like this. 
Here's how it works. Select a character, then under Action choose Custom. Describe the action and location. So here I'll select SpongeBob, then describe the entire scenario, like the location and his action. Once done, click Generate. And this is the result, which is pretty cool for AI artists, as it blends cartoons with real life. If you want more credits for these tools, visit tempmail.org. This site lets you create multiple accounts for daily usage. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content.